Well, today we're uh, continuing our journey down the Dalmatian coast. We're going to split one of the biggest talked about places I've heard on this coast. I can't wait to get there and I can't, oh, look at this water. I love the color of the water. Split was historically known as Spalato. It's the second largest city of Croatia after the capital, which is Zagreb, and the largest in Dalmatia. Um, and it lies on the eastern shore of the Adriatic Sea and it's uh, spread over a central peninsula and the surroundings and it has more than 900,000 tourists every year. Well, guess what? We're some of those today. So I can't wait to um, get out of this bus and park ourselves in the lovely town of Split and see if uh, all this talk about the place is true. But just before we do, we've all got to do something that everyone does on a long trip, and it's pee. Right, but this is a little bit different. Oh, yes, yes. Good, good. Time for a good photo. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Oh, wait on. We're just going to... This is how you get into the yeah, toilet. Right this is how you get yeah. into the toilet. Yeah. You've got to let, get a man to get you. Yeah. And so everybody you are, wants to go to the toilet. You know, I hope you're not dying to go, but anyway. And then you, then you get locked in there, you can't get out. <laughs> no, that's it, you're locked in. I might go myself. <laughs> I might go myself. How do we do this? You want to go in? Yeah. Yeah, come. Oh, look. This is how you go to the loo. Yeah, go, go, go. No, you can't get out. Oh. Okay. I think you missed it. Ready? Go. There we go. <laughs> Don't have a backpack at the same time. I got in. You, you guys, you're not getting out, all right? You're staying here. And I will tell you, I've never seen anything so ridiculous because, you know, if you've got to go, you've got to go. How was your toilet experience? <laughs> <laughs> it was okay, I guess. It could have been the better. Best, was it? It was hard to get through that little thing. <laughs> stars? How many stars you give it? Point five. Point five. <laughs> <laughs> Things are only going to go up from now. <laughs> sure. I hope so. <laughs> So we have now made it into Split and in 1979 this historic centre uh, was included in the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites. There are more than those than you think. Uh, Split is said to be one of the centres of Croatian culture and its tradition can be traced to the medieval times and you will soon see why that is. Okay, a bit of history. When Croatia declared its independence in 1991, a tragic incident occurred. It was in November of that year, and um, one, one light frigate, it was called Split, fired a small number of shells at the city and its surroundings, and it damaged um, a few places, and there were a few casualties. It was um, got the old centre, the airport, and also part of the hills, which we won't see today. But um, in the 1990s then, this, uh, the recession soon followed after that. And so we are now walking into Diocletian's Palace. Beautiful place. So Diocletian was a uh, Roman emperor and this palace was built for him at the end of the third century. And today forms about half of the town of Split here in Croatia. While it's referred to as a palace, because it was intended um, to use as a retirement residence for him. The term can be misleading as the structure is a massive, massive place, as you see, and more resembles a large fortress. 
and it goes on and on and on. So about half of it was for dilutions uh, personal use and the rest housed the military garrison. And today it's used for things like well, what do we have here? Wine tasting. That's my kind of thing. <laughs> That's my kind of palace, really. And, of course, if there's any Game of Thrones fans out there, part of that was filmed in here as well. It's very easy to take for granted while watching the series. And the reason behind the location choices on the Game of Thrones. Um, but however, once you arrive here, you start to learn a bit more about the history and you, you, you get a better understanding of um, why they chose these areas. And getting right away from that, I have a reason for choosing that wine. Oh, that wine? Wow. And here now, if you have a special appreciation for music, you're going to love this. And as I told you before, these people I'm traveling with, well, they just love a photo. And why not? And the Sphinx you see here is actually from Egypt and it's one of Diocletian's forcefully obtained artifacts and it is over 3,500 years old. Hey, it's older than this place. And these guys, well, <laughs> they just made the day, didn't they? They just fit right in. What have we here? <laughs> Aha! So, everything caught okay. you. Yes, <laughs> no hiding anymore. <laughs> you know, yeah, uh, everything's yeah, good. Hard to miss me. I'm just getting yeah, pretty tall. <laughs> so, just before we leave, uh, I'm going to take another look through here. Many hotels are being built now. Um, as well as new apartment and office buildings and many large development projects are being uh, revived and a new infrastructure is being built. So um, here we have the, like, the Spal uh, Spalladium area and this was built in 2009 and um, this is a fantastic place to have lunch. We had lunch here. It's a very hot day and I'd love to just jump in that water but I won't because I have to get back on the bus yep yep anyway that was uh, our day in split and the food yes spectacular as well
Well, I hope you enjoyed this review on the town of Split. I'm Travel Bug Sue, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review.